Welcome to Streamline News for Wednesday, May 18th, 2011, brought to you by SwimOutlet.com, the web's most popular swim shop. Ian Thorpe is back in Australia for a 10-day training trip, and one of the people he's racing in workouts is James Magnuson, the current leader in the world rankings in the 100 freestyle. Magnuson said he's looking forward to training with the Olympic legend and knows Thorpe will be, quote, a force to be reckoned with when the Olympic trials roll around next year. Thorpe has lost about 39 pounds since he first dove in the pool this, in his quest to make the Olympic team eight months ago. And he told the media he's not fully certain he will swim fast enough to swim the 100 free individually in London, but is definitely eyeing a spot on Australia's 400 free relay. After this visit to his home country, Thorpe will return to Switzerland, where he's now training with coach Gennady Turetsky. USA Swimming announced today a few items regarding the national youth team. First, the team's name will return to being called the National Junior Team, as it was in the 1990s. Also, this summer's nationals will serve as a qualifying meet for the FINA World Junior Championships, which will be held one week after the conclusion of nationals. The top two swimmers in each Olympic event at the nationals, age 18 and under, will be named to the team for the Junior World Championships, and the top six from nationals will be named to the junior team for competitions throughout the next 12 months. Finally today, Eric Ress and Clement Lafaire were named to France's team going to this summer's World University Games. Ress and Lafaire's addition to the roster is surprising, given that both were unable to compete in the trials for this team in March due to their conflict with the NCAA championships. In fact, Ress mentioned in his interview last month on the Morning Swim Show that his big meet of the summer was going to be the U.S. Nationals. It's not known how Ress and Lafaire were able to make the team without competing at French Nationals, but Expect them to be strong leaders for the French at the competition. That's today's Streamline News. We'll see you next time.